हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सुशील गुप्ता एंड आई एम हियर टू टीच यू फिजिक्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर वन मैटर एज वी ऑल नो डेट आर कंट्री इज गोइंग थ्रू द मोस्ट एपेडेमिक डिजीज डेट इज करोना एंड इट इज इन दिस रिगार्ड आर स्कूल हैज टेकन द ऑनर ऑफ गिविंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स सो डेट वी कैन मेक आर एकेडेमिक बेटर सो लेट इज बिगेन आर टूडेज क्लास by introduction of physics class 6 and introduction to physics so first of all let us discuss that what is physics up till class 5 students you might have studied a general subject that is science you were aware of only this subject but now you will be studying science in much more detail so first of all the question arises what is science starting from your previous knowledge of class 5 let us discuss what is science can anyone answer yes it is the systematic study of world through experiments and observations so what is science it is the systematic study of world through experiments and observations so this is the definition of science which we have already studied in class 5 so according to the definition of science it is a systematic study of the world through experiments and observations mainly science is categorized into three categories which you are going to study separately in class 6 science is classified into three categories what are they physics chemistry and third one is biology now let us discuss about physics what is physics physics is the branch of science which deals with the study of nature and natural phenomena it deals with the study of nature and natural phenomena natural processes we can say for example moon is revolving around the earth we all have studied from lower classes that moon is revolving around the earth moon revolves around earth is it so this is moon and this is our planet earth in which we are living so it is just making one rotation in every 24 hours so if we are studying about moon and earth that it will come in the category of physics second example we can suggest one apple on a beaten apple yes so one apple falls on head of a person you might have seen a tree a lot of apple and mangoes are just in it so whenever apple is falling on a person this is a person and if it is falling then what is it it is natural phenomena and these all things will come in the category of physics so in this class in this branch of science we are going to study everything that is related to nature and natural phenomena now let us begin our chapter 1 so what is our chapter 1 that is map 
So let us begin with it. Chapter 1 Matter What is matter? Anything which has mass and occupies space is known as matter. So two things are necessary for matter. What are they? Number one, it should have mass and number two, it should occupy space. If these two conditions are fulfilled, then anything present in the world will come in the category of matter. So anything in the world which has mass and occupies space will come in the category of matter. For example, this pen. It is having some or the other mass and it is occupying the space also. If we are keeping it like this, then this space is occupied. So it will come in the category of matter. Same way, we can take this scale. All are familiar with this ruler. It is having some or the other mass. And if I am keeping it on my hand, then you can just see it is occupying this much space. Therefore, it will also come in the category of matter. Furthermore, examples, this box, it will be having some or the other mass. And if I am keeping it on my hand, it is occupying a certain space. So anything in the world which is present around us is come in the category of matter only. Because all the things even are here, which is very thin, that is also composed of some or the other weight and it will also occupy some space also. Therefore, everything in the world will come in the category of matter only. Now, moving on to the more classification of matter, according to one scientist, Greek scientist Democritus. This is one scientist, Democritus, who has told that matter is consisting of indivisible, very small, tiny particles that is known as atom. So atom is the smallest particle of the matter which cannot be further subdivided. This is the smallest particle of the matter. This atom is derived from a Greek word named atomos. So atom is derived from a Greek word atomos. And what is the meaning of word atomos? That is indivisible. Indivisible means it cannot be further divided. Therefore, the word atom means indivisible. And atom is the smallest indivisible particle by which matter is made up of. If we are moving now, let us just move ahead and learn about different forms of matter. Now we are going to learn about different forms of matter. What are the different different forms? States of matter. There are three states of matter. Matter can be classified into three states. What are they? Number one, solid. Number two, liquid. And number three, gases. So solid, liquid and gases. These are the three states of matter. Now we are going to study about solid, liquid and gases in detail by their properties and their examples. So first of all, we are going to discuss about solids. Solids are the substances which are having fixed volume and fixed shape. Fixed volume and fixed shape is possessed by solids. For example, stone, ice. You can see this is a stone. Is it? It is quite hard. I am applying force on the stone but is it changing its texture? No. Even if I am applying a large quantity of force, 
it is not changing its shape and size. Therefore, these type of substances which are hard, which are having fixed volume and which are having fixed shape, that will come in the category of solids. If we are talking about the molecular arrangement of solids, then the molecular arrangements of solids is like this, which is shown in the figure. You can see that atoms are arranged very nearer to each other. No space is present between two atoms. And therefore, as the atomic arrangement is very nearer to each other, therefore solids are quite hard in structure. They are not able to change their shape generally and they are having fixed volume and fixed shape. So this was all about solids. Now the second state of matter is liquid. Let us discuss about liquids in detail. Second state of matter is liquid. It is having no fixed shape but fixed volume. Fixed volume is there but no fixed shape. For example, water, oil, we all are using water for drinking purposes and you all might have noticed that water is taking the shape of the container in which it is kept. Let me show you. Just you can see, this is a water bottle. Okay? One liter of water will remain one liter but if we are pouring it into another container then it will take the shape of the container. Means it is having no fixed shape but fixed volume. Let us see. It is right now the water is capped in the Milton bottle so it has occupied this shape of the bottle. Now if I am pouring this water in the glass you can just see that it has just took the shape of the glass is it and if i am taking this box and if i am pouring this water in the box you might see that it has taken the shape of this box so from these what conclusions we can come to know? We can come to know that liquids are the substances which are having fixed, no fixed shape but fixed volume. Is it clear to all? It takes the shape of the container in which they are kept. Why it is so? Because the molecular arrangement is little bit far as compared to that of solids. In solids, the molecules were very nearer to each other. They were tightly packed. No intermolecular space was present. Therefore, solids were hard. But here, atoms are having few space between two atoms. Between each other, they are having a space. And therefore, they are having fixed volume, but no fixed shape. Now, the third state and last state of matter is gas. Gases, this is the last state of matter and it is having no fixed shape and no fixed volume. Neither shape is fixed nor volume is fixed. They just occupy the whole volume in which they are kept because intermolecular space is very large between the atoms of gases. If we are drawing the molecular arrangement of gases, they are very far from each other and if they are very far, definitely this state of matter will be having no fixed shape and no fixed size. 
for example oxygen hydrogen air these oxygen hydrogen and air will come in the category of gases they spread in whatever the space that is available to them if the gases are stored in this much container they will be just occupying the space of this container but if it is kept in big container then they will be occupying the space of big container therefore gases is having no fixed shape and no fixed volume and mostly they all are invisible only we are not able to see oxygen we are not able to see hydrogen also though we are breathing it but are we able to see oxygen no so this was all about matter states of matter and the molecular arrangement properties of all the three states of matter that's all for today and let us wait for the next class thank you